Hello everyone and welcome to another two minute tutorial. In this video, we're looking at adjusting your frame rates to match your project inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a timeline here, which is at 25 frames per second, but if you look at the info in our project window, you'll see that I've got some issues with mixed frame rates. This first clip was shot in super slow motion at 200 frames per second, but playing it back without any adjusting, it's actually still playing in real time. We can drop the footage on our timeline and using a bit of maths make the correct speed adjustments, but that won't help me if I want to preview all of my footage in slow motion in the source monitor. The solution is to right click on your clip and select modify interpret footage. At assume this frame rate, we're going to enter 25 frames per second to match our timeline. And it's now going to adjust our footage to the slowest possible frame for frame speed for our timeline. You can still make further speed adjustments on the timeline, but this allows you to start from a controlled base. You might also have problems with mixed frame rates due to using different cameras or dealing with footage somebody else has supplied to you. I have a clip here from a swimwear shoot that I actually recorded at 29.97 frames per second. Now it plays fine in my source window, but if I place that on my current timeline, it's going to drop frames and look choppy. In order to utilize all the frames, we're going to again interpret the footage to 25 frames per second. Playing our footage back now, you can just barely notice the slightly slower motion, but the footage will look smoother and seamless with no dropped frames. However, this won't work on footage with audio as there will be an obvious pitch shift, but it worked great for B-roll or other video that you don't need the sound from. I'll point out that you can do this to multiple clips at once, even if they have mixed frame rates, making this an easy way to match all your footage to your project timeline. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for more two minute tutorials in the future.